Hey guys, Jeff Beal here at the Memorial Athletic Club. And again, another series of how to build your immune system, make it stronger. And today is part number eight, how to relieve stress. And I want to go over that with you right now. And I've got 12 habits, 12 simple habits to help you relieve stress. Stress is a killer. It can kill your immune system. It can cause a lot of bad things to happen to you. And one of those is, is decrease in your immune system. So I'm going to go over these 12 habits and expand on them a little bit more. But today, we're going to minimize stress. I'm going to show you ways to do that. First thing, you guys, I would suggest is creating a life that's stress-free. Create a life that's stress-free. And these 12 habits are going to help with that. So number one, number one. Go on a digital smartphone detox. And I know a lot of you guys are always on your phone. Anywhere you go, you see people on their phone, on their computers and everything. Just, It's just something, listen to this. Heavy internet users are five times more likely to suffer from depression. And depression is going to hurt your immune system. It's gonna de, uh, make it become worse. So here's what you can do instead. How about read a book? Read a book. Stress declines by 68% after reading just for five minutes. That is a good thing to do. So read a book. How many of you guys have picked up a book or a magazine and started reading lately? Also, engage in a creative activity. 45 minutes of, of creative activity lessens stress in the body just by doing 45 minutes of that. So do stuff that feels good. Let's move on to the next three. So build a healthy habits. Build healthy habits. And the first one is... Eat foods that reduce stress. Hey, we just talked about foods the other day, right? And there's certain foods that can help. Check this out. Avocado, lemon, dark chocolate. But hey, make sure you use the one that's really dark chocolate. I think it's, uh, you got to have at least 70% cocoa. And then almonds and uh, oatmeal as well. So there are certain foods that can help decrease stress. Exercise every day. Hey, I told you that one's going to be up here. Exercise every day. And predominantly, how about doing some yoga type things? And hey, check this out. Have you guys ever done this stretch? You ever done this pose before? You get your lay on your back on a yoga mat with your arms coming out like this, and then your legs straight up, and then work on breathing. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Try to elongate that breathing. Try to do 10 breathing cycles. Uh, how about that? How about try to stay there for like 10 minutes, stay in that position and see what happens. I guarantee your stress will go down. And then number uh, six, get adequate sleep. Just like I mentioned, uh, I think I just talked about this the other day about sleep. Guys, if you get your sleep and you get into that REM, the rapid eye movement phase of sleeping, that's when you're going to decrease your stress hormones during that area of sleep stage. So get adequate sleep. Let's move over here. Restore mindfulness. Resport. So you're going to focus on your senses. Hey, if you have a positive outlook on life all the time, it's going to become more positive. But if you're always thinking about, oh man, this stinks, that stinks, you know, I'm always going negative Nancy, and you don't want to do that. So hey, focus on your senses. Um, there's a strong correlation between positive mood and the way that you're going to feel. There's a positive, and it, it could be a negative mood, and it's going to make you feel negative. So hey, focus on your senses. Spend time outside. This is one of the things I love to do. I love, absolutely love being outside. I love doing yard work. That is kind of like my detox. Get outside, do some yard work, work on your tan, and it's just very important. So in, uh, let's say, studies show uh, being outside decreases your level of anxiety. And I can, I can definitely um, let you know about that because I've done that myself. Hey, check this out. Take baths. That's something that I do not do. I don't take a bath. Uh, I probably need to do that because here studies show being horizontal in water mimics the moon, uh, the being in your womb or in the womb conditions and improves mood and optimism. So if you haven't taken a bath lately, maybe you want to do that. Chill out, have a half a glass of wine and relax. <laughs> All right. And then, hey, let those hormones go crazy. So, hey, the last three are, are based on that. You want to dance like no one's dan nobody's watching. So, hey, I don't know how many of you guys have done this, but I like to turn on music that help, you know, gets me in the move, uh, like my Mike, Michael Jackson uh, Pandora station. 
And uh, I like dancing, and you know, I'm not gonna video over that for you though. Anyway, you wanna laugh your, laugh a lot, laugh your head off. So be around people that make you laugh, and that's definitely gonna change the hormones in your body. It's gonna help your immune system. We know that, that laughter is some of the best medicine you can have. Guys, and I don't know if you've got a pet, maybe you know somebody's got a pet or a dog or a cat, but just to pet your pet actually helps and boost your immune system. It says it increases the stress reducing hormone oxytocin and it decreases stress the hormone cortisol. So hey, pet somebody's pet, pet your pet. Spend some time with your pet. It's gonna work, I promise. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed all parts. We've had eight parts. This is my final part uh, on how to, to boost your immune system. And if you want to go over me to go over some other different things, please let me know. Uh, make comments in the comments section below. But hey guys, uh, I hope you get a lot out of this. I actually learned some stuff doing the research on this. But hey, God, God bless you guys. I'm going to be thinking up some new topics to talk about. And uh, we'll see you probably next week or the week after. I'm going to gather some new ideas. God bless you guys. Have a great weekend. We'll see you later.